Hi, good morning. It is Tuesday, November 30th. That means it is the third day of our Advent season, and I am glad that you are here with me as we take this time each day to prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ in this holy season, in this time of scripture and prayer. And we'll begin each day today as we do each day with some time to breathe, some time to just kind of get ourselves centered and ready for this time. We'll begin with some music for you to listen to, to reflect on. I invite you to just kind of really slow down as you're listening to the music. Then we'll take a few deep breaths and we will um, begin as we get into God's word. But first, let's go ahead and um, spend some time with this music, getting our hearts ready for the day. I invite you then to join me as we take a couple deep breaths. The glory of the Lord will be revealed and all humankind will see the saving power of God. From the Gospel of Matthew chapter 24 verses 42 to 44. Jesus said to his disciples, keep awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming, but understand this. If the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would have not let his house be broken into. Therefore, you must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. It's kind of a tough one, isn't it? The idea of the thief coming into the night. And if he had stayed awake, his house wouldn't have been broken into. It's, it, it's a pretty firm teaching that Jesus gives there, beginning with this idea of keep awake. You know, yesterday we talked about this idea that Paul gives us of wake up. Uh, you got to get going. The day's starting. Um, there's work to be done in God's kingdom and for Christ in that. So, so wake up, get going, put on Christ, put on light and get out there and get going on the work. Jesus is saying, keep awake. Don't, don't fall back. Don't get lazy. Don't, don't get distracted. Don't um, lose attention. Uh, you know, I, I, I think about those times that um, staying awake at night when you've got a, a teenager who's out and about uh, driving, maybe for one of the first times, um, being out with friends, maybe driving or going to a different place than they normally go to, and just the, you know, that anxiety of, of waiting for them. And so staying awake, waiting for them to come home, but you're really tired and that kind of like, oh, I'm drowsing off, but I really want to stay awake because I don't want to be asleep when they come home. And I don't want to miss the phone call or the text if something terrible happens. Uh, so there's that challenge of wanting to sleep, of wanting to be awake, 
feeling that need to be alert. That's the kind of feel that, that this verse gives to me. Like, keep awake. You don't know what's going to happen. But here in that, you don't know what's going to happen is you don't know when Christ is coming again. See, we've got this promise that Jesus is going to come again. And we do want to be ready. And we do want to be doing his work when he comes. We don't want to be dozing on the job, right? We want to be at it and, and engaged in it and, and, and being faithful to it when he comes. So don't fall asleep. Don't get drowsy. Don't get distracted. Keep awake. You must be ready, Jesus says. You must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Again, it's a challenging one, but it's an important one for us, especially here at this early part of the season of Advent as we're exploring what we might need to do to have our hearts more ready for Christ. Perhaps it's that our hearts need to be more attentive, more awake, more ready. I invite you to ponder on that for a little bit or whatever else this passage may have drawn up within you this morning. Will you pray with me? To the Lord of all hopefulness, to the Lord who gives us every good thing, let us pray. That Christ may be the ever-present guest in our home, we pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. That Jesus, the healer, may be the hope of the sick, the recovering, and the dying, we pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. That the risen Christ may gather before his Father the souls of our deceased relatives and friends, we pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. As we await the coming of Christ's reign, we join our hearts and our voices to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Here are the prayers of your Advent people, O Lord. May we be watchful in charity and awake in selflessness, that we may be ready for the fulfillment of the Easter promise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has filled us with every blessing of heaven in Christ.